Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode on my series of TV. If you didn't see it, I made a video previously on analog TV, so you can check that out if you want. Uh, basically what I said there was I laid out the fact that we have these channel allocations here from the uh, radio authority that um, they're called channel 6, 7, 8, 9, 9A, which I forgot about last week, uh, 10, 11 and 12, and they're all 7 megahertz wide, so between these seven sorry, between these green lines we've got 7 megahertz of bandwidth. Okay, so on the digital side, here in Brisbane anyway, we've got channel 7, SBS 9, and 10, and ABC up here. Now these used to have analog channels here, they now have digital radio, but that's another story. So just looking at the digital TV, we see that from here, from uh, 174 meg to 181 meg is channel 7. Now when I tune that in, you'll see the frequency that it picks is halfway between there, so it'll be 177.5. Okay, same for SBS, it'll be halfway between the two, so it'll be 184.5. So I'll tune them in now and you'll just see what I mean by that. So if we go over to the TV, simply uh, channel, auto search, digital, are you sure? Yes. Okay, so it goes through, what's the first one it's going to get? We anticipate 177.5 and there it is. Okay, so we found a whole bunch of uh, stations up here, or channels as it calls them. Now they were on the one frequency, we're up to 191.5 now, so we're ripping along, we're up to here, would have just done channel lines, uh, surfaces, and you can see obviously the number of TV channels found is more than the frequencies it's tuned in. That's because there's more than one channel on a frequency now with digital, which is what I'll get into here. So I'll just let that finish. 226, where was it, up there, oh that's pretty much done now, it won't find any more. So it just tuned into the center frequency, well it did all of them for its scan, but it found them on the center frequency of these, these channels here. Okay, now that it's finished its scan, we can look at the stations that it saved, and you can see the first five there are one from each frequency. So we've got 10, ABC, SBS, 7, and 9. And then it goes into the groups. So it goes back to 10 and all the ones on that channel 10 frequency, which are all the services broadcast by them. Then you've got all the ABC ones, then all the SBS ones, all the 7 ones, all the 9 ones, and then we go into the radio, which are just audio only. Okay, so there they are. Here's a section of the RF that covers channels 6, 7 and 8, which work out to be channels 7, SBS and 9 in the digital world. So the bandwidth is 7 meg from just the start here at 174 meg up to 181 meg. Okay, so the center frequency there, 177.5, that's what the TV tuned into when it found channel 7. And for SBS here, the center frequency is 184.5. Okay, and up here is 191.5 for channel 9. Now, you can notice it's pretty flat. Now, that, that's pretty flat. Compared to an analog signal that just has a big spike and then some side lobes here and that, this is pretty much using the whole spectrum bandwidth that's allocated to it as best it can. And the way it does that is it uses lots and lots of little carriers that have very low bandwidth, low modulation, low data. And by putting them all together, you end up with essentially, a, at a glance like this, a very flat looking spectrum. But by doing that, you can still get all the data through. So that's how it's actually done in the digital world. Now when digital TV first started, there were a lot of companies saying that you need a digital TV antenna if you want to watch digital TV. Now that's just rubbish because the antenna doesn't know nor care what sort of modulation is happening on the RF side. Its sole purpose is to capture as much RF energy as it can so it can send it down the wire. Now we've always used VHF for the TV here, both in analog and digital. So for instance, channel 7 analog used the frequencies between 181 meg and 188 meg. And nowadays, that exact same bunch of frequencies, that same bandwidth for the spectrum there, is being used for SBS Digital. So if you could get 7 analog, you'll get SBS Digital. Now, the only caveat to that is, if you had a really weak signal with the analog TV, like I showed in my previous video, if you've got a weak signal, you can still make it out with analog, whereas digital, it, you won't be able to see a picture with a, a signal that weak. But it comes down to how much of that RF signal is being captured. And if you, if you were watching an analog signal uh, that weak anyway, on the old system, then, then you didn't have a good antenna for analog anyway. So it, if you had a good antenna in general for analog, it will work for digital. 
And to put it in other ways, I don't remember the TV stations changing all their antennas. So there's the difference between the TV signals for analog and digital TV. On the analog side of things, we just had one analog TV station per channel allocation, whereas on the digital side, in that same 7 megahertz bandwidth, because it's just a digital bitstream, we could put all sorts of TV services in there and send it down the same 7 meg wide channel. Uh, in the next video, I'll use Linux to show you how to tune that uh, digital signal in, and we'll have a look at the sorts of things that are contained in that bitstream.